My essay describes the work I did during my PhD, developing new tools to understand the brain at a variety of levels, ranging from individual molecules all the way up through brain-wide neural networks. So I developed new tools during my PhD and applied them to understand the neural basis of thirst, which is a very fundamental instinctive drive that animals uh, uh, engage in to survive. And so uh, in, in my essay, I described the various technologies that I developed, uh, ranging from uh, a method to study the expression of individual genes in an intact piece of tissue, all the way up to methods for recording the activity of tens of thousands of neurons uh, distributed all over the mouse brain. And then I also explained how we use these techniques uh, in order to understand how this very small population of neurons deep in the brain that are very ancient and genetically encoded, uh, so they're evolutionarily conserved across many animals, uh, actually senses the animal's need for water and then broadcasts that information out to other parts of the brain that are responsible for controlling the animal's behavior in order for it to uh, uh, find and consume water. The technologies that I developed are very general, so they can be applied to very, many different contexts or situations in order to understand uh, how different genes function in the brain, how different neural circuits operate, uh, and all, ultimately how these different components of the brain at multiple levels work together in order to produce an animal's behavior, which is really the goal of the field of neuroscience. And so a lot of the experiments that I'm doing involve using these microscopy platforms, sort of automated microscopy platforms, where you can measure many different types of biomolecules in a single sample. And so the, the sort of experimental paradigm is basically using these microscopes to measure many different aspects of individual cells in a, using, using microscopy. Neuroscience can often be, um, I don't wanna say siloed off from the rest of biology, but it's sort of its own distinct field from the rest of biology. And so it's, I think the biggest impact could potentially be getting exposure to people in other areas. Like for example, the, the category I went in was technically cell and molecular biology, even though like my PhD is in neuroscience. Um, so trying to see new connections between other areas and also just generally get exposure for people who might not necessarily read neuroscience papers if they were to come across them in science, for example.